and thanks for joining us from our studios in Israel. I'm Natasha Kirchuk here with ILTV's Morning Briefing. Seven Israeli soldiers have been injured after a D-9 bulldozer collided with an armored personnel carrier near the Lebanese border. The incident took place between Khal Dov and Mount Hermon as the troops were working on improving defense along Israel's border with Lebanon. The victims included an officer, a non-commissioned officer, and five enlisted soldiers from the Army's Combat Engineering Corps. And some received treatment on the scene before being taken to nearby hospitals. Two of the soldiers are reportedly in serious condition. It's not yet been confirmed why the crash happened and the IDF is investigating the incident to determine its cause. Major clashes erupted in the southern West Bank last night when the IDF entered the Al-Fawar refugee camp to search for illegal weapons. After a large convoy of Israeli military vehicles entered the town for the arms raid overnight, Palestinian riders began to hurl rocks and Molotov cocktails at the troops. The IDF soldiers responded by firing rubber and 0.22 caliber bullets toward the main instigators, injuring 35 Palestinians in the process. A 17-year-old Palestinian died of his wounds after being shot in the chest. The IDF troops found two improvised handguns and other weapons and ammunition in the refugee camp, which was closed off for 26 days last month after a man from a Hamas terror cell opened fire on a car carrying an Israeli family nearby, killing Rabbi Mickey Mark. The Israeli army has since been clamping down on Palestinian workshops that manufacture arms in the West Bank. Egypt's Judo Federation is denying that its Olympic competitor Islam El Shahabi was sent home for refusing to shake the hand of his Israeli opponent. Yesterday, the International Olympic Committee claimed that the Egyptian Olympic Committee was strongly condemning El Shahabi's actions. But now Egypt's Judo Federation is lashing out, claiming El Shahabi simply returned home with his colleagues. Israeli medalist Oli Sasson claims he did not expect El Shahabi to shake his hand after they competed, but he still decided to extend his own hand in respect. An Egyptian news site quoted Shahabi as saying he did not initially plan to ignore Sasson's hand, but ended up doing so as a spur of the moment decision. The Ministry of Defense has just announced that it's accepting preliminary bids from companies and groups that are interested in building the new IDF Defense Intelligence Campus in the Negev. The move is part of an extensive national plan to relocate IDF bases to southern Israel, from the center of the country, as a means of consolidating operations to save cash and open up land development in the Negev. The Ministry of Defense and the IDF estimate the new campus will be completed in late 2022 and will eventually house about 80% of defense intelligence personnel. Several arms of the military currently residing at the headquarters in Tel Aviv and in the country's center have already started to move south to free up space for building residential units to address the country's housing supply shortage. The relocation is also meant to upgrade the infrastructure and quality of life across the Negev, with some 30,000 soldiers and military officials making the South their new home. The plan is estimated to cost around 10 billion shekels. That's all for now. I'm Natasha Kirchuk, and see you later with our main daily broadcast from Israel at 2 p.m. Eastern Time.